people often say community around food and farms, and it's, it's not an accident. Uh, for a farm to function, it needs every person with a whole lot of different skill sets. We're at Ecar Farm. We're in the heart of Denver, Alameda and Monaco in the Lowry neighborhood. This, this farm has been growing for, this is to be halfway through its second year. We have uh, sort of two points of access for what we're doing. We have the community garden, which uh, has 50 plots, private plots that people grow their own food on, including uh, a whole bunch of uh, Bhutani refugees uh, that grow literally what they eat. I mean, they, they let us survive off the plots and then everything else in between. And so that's a, a, a one nice feature of the farm. The second is the community farm which allows people to drop in and drop out and, you know, we're always working and it allows people to do something one day and then take a vacation for a month, do something again, and, and be a part of the, the cycle. The farm ends up touching on both those points. One thing that the farm does is we donate everything we grow to the needy. So that's a really nice thing because a lot of folks have access to, to healthy food that they may not otherwise have. And then as part of that, because we, we are donating everything, it, it's a very volunteer focused energy. and so. Often that becomes kids. They're, they're around, they've got time, and they're in different organizations, and, and so they're able to come out here. So we're able to touch sort of two populations at once through, through, our, through our project. For a farm to function, you need everybody. And, and that's what's really exciting. And what, you know, the, the slogan of Denver Urban Gardens that helped us facilitate this is growing community one garden at a time. And that's very much what happens here. You, you naturally meet interesting people, and you work alongside them, and you, you form a very natural collective of people that are working on different things but they still have a sense of ownership and they come and touch base here. The foods that we eat, the things we're used to are are naturally part of Colorado and as you can touch on all those things you really start feeling where you are and you, you, you take better care of where you are and you make better decisions hopefully. Slowly but surely you're improving your, your world.